Hey, it's Ben here. And here in this video, we're going to have a look at how we manage this kind of list. So for instance, we might have a price list with a short paragraph about the product or something like that after it. And in this example, we've basically got this editable column of our numbers. So this could be our prices or something else in the list that we want to keep separate from the descriptive text. Now we're not using tables in this, we're just using paragraph styles. And the reason that makes this nice is we've got complete control within our paragraph style of editing and fine tuning the spacing of these two different kind of list elements. And also if we want to add other items to the bottom of our list here, then when we break to the next line, it will essentially add those items without us having to do any formatting at all. So we can basically modify these two columns of text completely within the paragraph styles. So we're gonna select and copy this text and we're gonna run through how we set this up step by step. So we'll start with a new document without any styles within it. So I'm gonna hit create. So now when I paste in the text that I've copied, I'm just gonna to go to edit and paste without formatting. So you can see the original text that we have, if we go to type and show hidden characters has a couple of formatting elements in here which are really important. The first one is if we zoom in we have a tab right at the beginning of this line that allows us to align the number or other item we've got in this first column of the list and then we've got another tab between these two elements and we can use tabs in a smart way to kind of manage these things and the nice thing about tabs is that if you're copying and pasting from a spreadsheet then you can have those tabs built into the spreadsheet really easily or you can do a find and replace to kind of add a tab at the beginning of a line here in InDesign. So the first thing we're gonna do here is create a new paragraph style for all of our paragraphs here. So you may not see the paragraph styles panels up here on the right. So if we go to window workspace, I'm just gonna reset my essentials view. This is the default layout for InDesign. I'm just gonna to go to type and paragraph styles, and it's gonna bring up this character and paragraph styles panel actually going to dock this across to the right to keep things nice and organized and that just means I can quickly kind of access it over there. So first things first we're going to make a new paragraph style we'll call this item list. So first things first we want to make sure we've got preview checked on it means that when we actually work with our paragraph here we can modify things really easily and most of the alignment that we're doing here is done in the tabs formatting. So I have my indent options here for my type and I can move this around so that it kind of decides where the type is indented to and I can also modify and add these tab elements as well. So I can select any one of these tab elements. Now for the first tab I want to choose a right aligned tab. So I'm going to select this right justify tab and then I'm going to click once here and you'll see that is where my first kind of tab is going to be aligned to. Okay, and this is really important. And then we're going to come to indents and spacing. So what I want to do is have my left indent aligned so that my text moves across to the right. And then I'm going to offset that by giving my first line a negative number. So you can see now I can offset that number by reducing the first line indent. So we'll go to minus 25, which is the maximum we can do. We can kind of continue to modify this. The first line indent can't be bigger in its negative value than the value of the left indent. And then if we come to tabs, we can also see those tab indents here. So this is my first line indent. So I can modify this visually. And then this is my left indent. And I can modify this visually here. So we can modify the indents of spacing through the number values here or in the tabs window we have these two tiny little triangles which are kind of hard to grab sometimes um, and those are going to align those so now you can see I've got all my alignment sorted so basically this first set of text is aligned to the right and then this text here is aligned to the left and I can modify and change this as I want to let's go to indents and spacing we're going to add some space after the paragraph so you can see that we're able to space out our list here. And then we're gonna go to basic character formatting. I am gonna make my type Gotham and we'll leave it at book. So now what we wanna do is format the number on the left here, this item in the, the list. So I'm gonna come to my drop caps and nested styles and I'm gonna add a new nested style, which is gonna be a new character style. We'll call this list item name and then we'll come to basic character formats and I'm just going to change the font style to bold. 
Now you do need to be careful with these font styles here because not all of these will exist within the font you're choosing. I know that bold and black exist within Gotham that I have installed. So I'm gonna click here and this will now be bold. You can see my formatting is temporarily kind of turned off here. Uh, I'm gonna change the character color to red and then click OK. See the formatting comes back and now I have the formatting for my paragraph and my type all set up. I'm gonna to go to type, hide hidden characters and you can see now we have everything nicely lined up. So with that left indent and negative first line indent we can get these numbers separated using the tabs and then we can also use the alignment of those tabs in that item list here, the right align tab, to get that to align and sit as close or as far away from that type as we want. So we can increase the gutter that we have here. So no columns are needed in here, no tables. We're just using paragraphs, which is a really nice way of formatting type, but also then being able to kind of add new items to our list. So again, if we hit enter, we need to add that tab to the first line. We can add our new item name here. We'll fix this one in a second. And then we can add our description here. So you can see here with my nested styles, I'm just gonna click out of my paragraph. I like to deselect objects on the page when I'm editing with my paragraph styles. It's just a good idea when you actually don't wanna accidentally format something. So I'm gonna to come to my drop caps and nested styles. You can see my list item name is going through one word. I want it to go up to and to and tab characters. So there's the first tab here and the second tab, and now this one is aligning here. Now when we go to our tabs here, you can see this is aligning a little bit off here. So I'm gonna to have to modify the spacing here to get it to fit. And you can see when I pull this too far to the left, this is still indenting. So I'll need to just select and drag my indent here back to the beginning. And you can see the nice thing here is that we don't have to come in, edit every line, we can just edit that paragraph style to get this right. So if we wanna click OK here, we can then come in and change the character style. So when we've nested a character style within our paragraph style, so these drop caps and nested styles, then in order to change that character color, we need to come into the character styles under the list item name, which is where this is modified. So we have our character color here. We can modify that, change it throughout our document. And also we have some other options here as well. For instance, we have underline, we could turn that on. Um, we can change the color of our underline and we can do some fun things here as well. So for instance, if we give our underline a nice kind of big weight, we can start to do some more interesting formatting for our lists here. So we can also offset this and get it to sit behind those numbers and do some interesting things like that as well. So let's just uh, set this to a tint so it's not quite so strong. We'll click OK. And again, all this done with just those simple paragraph and character styles, get things lined up just as we want. So I hope this is useful. If you have any questions about getting your paragraphs aligned, creating these types of lists, then please do leave them in the comments below. Otherwise, I look forward to seeing you on the next tutorial.